Ernestine Holmes has been living on Murdoch Road for more than 20 years. And for most of that time, it's been a gravel road. Oh, the dust was terrible. The cars just fly down the road and all the dust just come right at you. The road was paved last year after residents got together and petitioned the county. Maybe four or five years ago, we did a petition. And it took this long to get our road paved. But the road was only paved part way leaving our scene Dorcius and others who live on the road to question why. We thought they was going to pave the whole world. And uh, so, uh, lo and behold, uh, they paved so much uh, of it and the rest of it stay unpaved. Holmes says she thinks it has to do with the name of the road. The portion left unpaved was originally called Lavoie Street. Holmes says the neighbors included in their petition a request to have the entire road named Murdoch to ensure the entire road would be paved. That was a condition of getting our road paved if it's all one thing. If it was all Murdoch, then we would get, have a better chance of getting our road paved. The road sign was changed to Murdoch, but on maps it was left as Lavoie. Neighbors say construction ended in late 2012 with the Lavoie segment of the road left as gravel and the shoulders of the road left bare. You know how they plant the grass back on the side of the road? They didn't do any of that. Although they scraped it up, but they never put any more grass back. Just, just like that, you know, they don't put no grass, you know, they're just, just up and left. So it, it, it just, uh, uh, we, we're wondering exactly what happened. Since this is a county road, I talked to Councilman Tory Rush, who represents this district of Richland County. Now, he declined to interview, but he said that he hadn't known about the problem until I contacted him and that he was looking into solutions and answers as to why the road was left, only partially paved. In Columbia, Ivory Hecker, Watch Fox News.